Hello Raider Nation, this is Duntov. Today is Monday, March 16th, 2020. I am on Russell Road, so this is the south end. So, there's a lot going on on the stadium and in Las Vegas. I'm sure everybody has heard that pretty much all of the strip is closing down. Actually, I'm looking at the Mandalay Bay sign right now, and it's, it's actually showing it right there. So that's the big news in town right now. <laughs> it's loud over here today on Russell. But, uh, yeah, they're going to close all of the MGM Corporation casinos and win resort casinos i know for sure they're all closing down tomorrow and then i'm not sure about all the other ones like the venetian and palazzo and caesars but mgm i work for them we're closing down tomorrow not sure the time frame either i guess until you know until everything passes so it's getting a little serious out here. And then right before I left to drive out here to film this, I did read it's official, the draft, which is not a big surprise, has been canceled out here. But I didn't find out any details of what they're gonna be doing, but yeah, a lot of crazy stuff going on right now in this world, so everyone just try to stay safe and don't be fighting over toilet paper and uh, what else are they trying to get? <laughs> Just uh, everyone stay safe and be kind to each other. So, you know, just like the Raider Nation family, times like this, you know, everyone just gotta just pretend everyone's in the Raider Nation and treat each other good. All right, so the roof on this end, you can actually see they got most of the cross bars going up. They're, uh, you know, they're moving everything up pretty quick. So I know my last video out here, I was questioning the ETFE if those were the panels or not, and they are the panels. I was thinking they would be mounted on some kind of framing and lifted up, but I learned, you know, I just learned that they were, you know, making their own right up there. So that's good, it's going up and it's moving pretty fast too. All right, so the big news over here yesterday was the letter M at the end of stadium. It was a little bit crooked, so they actually removed it yesterday and put it back up. Of course, you can't see it good from this angle. It's right around that corner. But they've been working on, I guess, fine-tuning everything. They were up here when I left work, and you can see they're still here doing something. So they're getting it all in place. All right, I'm gonna try to get the drone up. It's a little bit windy. We'll see if we can get it up to see what what's going on in the filtrate area. You can see on this is the east side. So this would be like the southeast end. They got it all cleared out. Not sure when they'll start paving it. still people in these all these office buildings here so it looks like it's gonna be around for a little bit longer and then this is the walls right where the super trusses are 
on the south end, holding up the whole south end. And so they're getting the wall finished above the opening of the filtrate area. So remember Garth Brooks tickets. Well, they went on sale to PSL owners like a week and a half ago. And they went on sale to the public last Friday. They sold out the public ones in, I think, less than 75 minutes. Now today, the ones for the VIPs, the 50-yard line ticket holders, they went on sale today, but they didn't have to fight for them. If they want them, they could get them. Those were $300 each. And then with that, you get to go into the the club lounge, the 50-yard line club, and that's ticket includes all you can eat and drink in the club. So that's for Garth. Hopefully, everything will be calmed down by then. And then today, you know, looking at seems like all the workers are here today so so far all this stuff closing down Las Vegas construction here is going full steam ahead all right I'm gonna go down walk around get some different angles because especially this Russell Road's too noisy today okay I am now on the southwest end this is on Polaris but I'm gonna I'm gonna walk into the frame. I wanna show you the shirt that Khalid sent me. So, I don't know how well you're hearing my voice, so I'm just gonna go in front and show you my new Raider shirt. Okay, so we got Raiders in front. So again, thank you for sending it, love it. I need to get, I actually got people asking for some of them now. So eventually I might have to make some to, to sell. All right, so let's get back to business here. So I could see some guys over here working on one of these expansion joints. At least I think that's what they're doing, they're right in that area. Can't really tell what they're doing from here. Down below. So here's what I'm thinking is the alternate exit or entrance. I'm thinking this is the west side M MGM VIP entrance. Could be wrong, but it kind of. Looks like it'd be like a special entrance. T-Mobile Arena has their VIP entrance in the back, you know, away from everybody else also. And then here, this is the main south entrance. I'm gonna send the drone up, see if, what, if I could get any footage of this getting windy, just to take a look at the filtrate area. All right, so Big Bird and its twin brother, they've been lifting and bringing stuff down really fast today. So this one's been bringing, it seems like, a lot more supplies up and down. And then the other one on the west side, it just lifted up one of those crossbar or beams. I'm not sure what the official term is. So they're getting, that's all that's really left, it seems like, is the crossbars on this. It would be the southwest top of the roof.
Okay, I'm gonna keep walking down to see what else we have. Okay, I'm still on the west side. This is pretty much right in the center if you're looking at the building. So you can see the crane moving now again. 
they're probably going to lift another one of those crossbars. Well, it's looking pretty cool. Wonder what kind of training it takes to be a crane operator, especially these big ones. I don't know if you start out like a cherry picker or what kind of classes you have to take. I'm sure there's a lot to it. All right, so we had the elevator. It's starting to get pretty windy over here. We had the elevator up on this side. So it's pretty much right where you can see where the white stripes are missing. So if we go up, they got them all the way up. Just the very top, it looks like it's missing like one or two panels right in between. So they filled this in within a couple of weeks. Now if I pan down, all right, we can see the brackets. They're putting the brackets in for another sign. So it looks like it has to go over a little bit more. You can see there's a there's a mounting point right here. But when I drove up, I didn't come this way. I'm going to pan to the left. And it is appropriately named right now. Look at that. We got L Davis right here. We got the L Stadium. Maybe they'll just keep it like that. So there you go. This is L Davis's stadium right there. All right, so it doesn't look like they're working on it anymore. There's a couple cherry picker lifts, but I don't see anyone around. It's about it's about probably 1.30 right now. Yeah, actually it's 1.45, so I did see a lot of construction crew leaving. I don't know if they were part of it or not. So we're getting the sign up on this. This would be the northwest corner, even though it's round. It's I still call it a corner, but so there we go. All right, so I sent the drone up. You've already seen that footage. So I couldn't tell just from the viewfinder because it's cloudy. It was hard for me to tell what was, you know, like I couldn't see it good on the viewfinder. So we just have to wait to see what we load. I think they might be fueling this up right now because they stopped it and he's carrying something. Yeah, it looks like he's got a a nozzle. I wonder how much, I'm assuming it's diesel, I wonder how much diesel these things use. Okay, so we got the L. I know some people with the way I have my accent sounds more Spanish than American. <laughs> the L Stadium. <laughs> but that's what you get. That's a Ohio accent. All right, we're gonna try to go to the, we'll go to the north side. I gotta drive around that way and then we'll see what else we could find. Okay, I'm now on the north end. So we get another view of the sign going up here. I didn't really see anything about it on the social media today. It was, the, it was a big deal with the one on the east side. We got an invasion of the birds over here. I don't know what's going on here, but a lot of birds. Okay, the food trucks have already left. This is the area now. They park back on this section right here where I'm at. So no more food trucks. Almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon. 
All right, so we're by the Lanai doors with the giant scaffold scaffolding project here. So again, these scaffolds are up here basically to work underneath the canopies that go over the door. So I'm gonna zoom in and you can see some of it underneath here. So they're just doing, they're gonna put the finish work underneath. Because before you would just see all the you know, steel beams and stuff like that, so. They just put a finish. Once I get past this one spot over here, you can you can see they're putting the, the yellow, uh, you got the yellow sheeting under there. And then on the other end, which we can't see, then it just has the black finish. So, and then from here, the way the light's going through, you can see all the different layers of the scaffolding. So that's crazy. All right, then this is gonna be like the Raider Image store, right there. And then next to it, these will be stairs in this area they'll have stairs here because you're gonna go up the stairs and the main north entrance is right behind the scaffolding in this way here so that's gonna be like the main entrance I think to the whole building because this is the money shot entrance so we got all the Las Vegas strip over here soon to be closed down Las Vegas Strip one more day so you might be getting a lot more videos because I will not be working until they open it back up so hopefully it's not too long and not just for me you know everyone in the casino business so it's gonna hurt the town for a little while but it is what it is all right, we're looking straight on, north end. So this is the lanai doors all behind the scaffolding that will open up. So we can't really check out the torch, but it's, it's right behind the scaffolding there. You could kind of see it through the glass. So again, that's gonna be the biggest 3D printed item ever made so you know as up to date so I don't know I, I think they're making it in Kansas City which is kind of <laughs> weird when you say that but I don't know when that'll come for them to install but it's gonna be cool Alright, in all these like planters, you can see they're working on, uh, they got a few of the plants going in. And they've been working over here on pretty much all of them all around. And then we got the Yesco, the sign company, the Yesco sign company. We got these guys up here, looks like they're working on the white light strips. Look in the front, they got a lot of it cleaned out. So this area here, and up close all around this area, so like right in the center by where the store's gonna be, out a little bit, that's where it's gonna have a giant Raiders logo. And then all the legacy bricks are gonna be all this front area, all around the logo. Now, I'm not sure how far out they go. I guess it just depends how many they could sell. But it seems like in the renderings, I think it goes, it'll go all the way out past all the stairs that they're going to put in over there. So, it's going to be cool. 
You're gonna walk in the main entrance, and then you gotta search for your brick. I guess when people that bought a brick, they said once they're ready to place them, they're gonna send you like a grid map so you could try to make it a little easier to find it. This guy, he walked up these pretty fast. I know I'd be huffing and puffing, but he just went all the way up in probably a couple minutes. Guess you gotta be in pretty good shape to do it. So, no elevators there. All right, Raider Nation, I guess that's all I got. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, Raiders1967. Get updates on the stadium, the headquarters. It was supposed to be the draft, but that has been canceled. Or it's, the, it's canceled out here. They're still gonna have a draft. I don't know where they're gonna hold it, but it's not gonna be open to the public. So we'll see what happens with that. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll talk with you next time.